Hello everyone, it's me Neither, and today I am playing Carry by Pros, a short 20 minute horror game with no saves. This was developed by Leon Hurley, I hope I am pronouncing the name correctly, and let's just jump right through. WSD to move E to interact with objects when highlighted, space to advance and clear text. All right. Press escape to quit at any time. This game has no sense. Let me tell you the tale of a man who one day walked a wrong path. While no fault of his own, forests rarely care of those among its branches. So his darkness closed in and the man became afraid, the trees rustled on all the same. This is a very poetic. And look at that, look at this environment, wow! And he knew he was very lost. Are we lost, really? I like this zoom in, zoom out animation, like it makes it super, super cinematic. All right, we're just walking in the forest. Oh, what was that? I think I saw something. This game is already creeping me out. Oh. Through the darkness, the sing-song chime of a strange bottle tree seemed to hold back the shadows just a little. Yeah. There might be something in those bottles, right? I mean, there was nothing in there, but... We're just walking in the forest, that's so simple. Oh, what's this? You, you, you don't have to say anything about it, but at least you can explain. Oh! In time, the men approach an old house, all lifelong seen stripped from its timber bones. But even a hollow home can be sheltered in a storm, and with little resource to be found, the man resolved to enter. Alright. What if I just go? Well, we're going in. Old smells hung on the air like ghosts, that's... and thus the only things left to mark the passage of life through the rundown shack. What? Oh, crow. Oh, is this like a play on Edgar Allan Poe, the crow? What stories this place once told would remain lost and is forgotten as the bird, he thought. Can I interact with anything? Oh, I just... I thought I could stay for longer. Oh, well. This is sad. The dust and the dirt of poor soil was all that greeted the men outside. Life seems unwelcome here, and abandonment had claimed its stake. It's a stake, but the path continued, and so did he. Ahead, the men could see a shape in the undergrowth and approached to take a closer look. The body was old and frail, and shadow of the father in the picture who through the ruin and decay of his life and home had chosen to stay to the end. The body was old, yeah. So we're not gonna just help the poor dude not call 911 or maybe bury the body? Yeah, we're just gonna leave. I guess that's how it happens in this universe. All right, all right, okay, okay, get it. What? Wait, it highlighted this tree. Didn't it? Yeah, it, it highlights the tree. Oh, are we going in there? What the fuck is this? Oh, don't. We're going in some fucking cave? I mean, what? Oh, we can go in and out? Well, something definitely is wrong with this. Oh, so we go this way. 
This is very eerie. Discarded in the grass was the missing bottle, would returning it to the tree bring back its song and clear the way. Let's go further. No, no further way. Yeah, it involves some kind of like little puzzle, but well, it's not a puzzle, it just straight tells you what to do. You have to hang the bottle on the tree and then this black smoke will go away. Yeah, it did. The path continued and so did he. Leaving the shack behind, the man pushed on deeper into the forest. Yeah, I, I really wonder what the underlying theme of this game is, because so far I'm super lost. Like, we went to the shack, we found a dying man, well, a dead man, a corpse. Um, let's not go in there yet. Oh, there's no other way, so we have to go in there. Okay. Also, the sound design is very creepy. I really like it. I hope it's not copyrighted. Another broken bottle tree blocked away, unable to sink away the dark. Deeper into the forest and further still from home, the man's knees grew something else. What the f- Oh, I should read that before pressing space. The forest had claimed others before, and the spirits of lost children played on among the trees, unaware of their fate. Oh, that's... This kind of reminds me of, you know, that um, TV show called From? I don't know if you guys uh, have any idea about it. So we need a bottle. We need to find a bottle somewhere. Also, I hope I'm not lost. Yes, I found a bottle, but I didn't see the tree, or did I see the tree? I'm not sure, because we need this bottle for the tree, so it would clear the path. So far, very impressive game. Of course, it's very sound heavy and visual heavy, so visuals and sound design are, you know, the best parts of the game. Uh, otherwise, not really following the story yet, but yeah. All right. So this is the only way. What? The forest seemed crueler here, darker. The ones crawled in the trees and pulled at the men's legs. Yeah, be careful there. Oh, be careful. I just don't want any thorn attacking me, okay? I'm just a passerby, so don't attack me. Careful. Can we duck? No, we cannot. Oh, we have to go through here again? Wait a minute. Yes, we have to. Um, I guess this way. Like, every time the character is facing, we go that way. No, no, it was going to be this way. I was wrong. I was wrong yet again. And here is another one. Another lost bottle lay out of reach beyond a thorn bush. Can I, um, uh, can I touch it? No. So, there might be something that helps me to destroy that bush. Yeah. That's the bottle we need. I mean, that's a tree we need the bottle to be on so I can carry on with my adventures in the forest. Oh, what's that? Oh, spooky. Rainwater collected in the stump where, still lit by the sun's warmth and touched by darkness in the soil, it held the thorns at bay. Perhaps it might have the same effect elsewhere if it was collected. Perhaps! Perhaps, my dear! 
I really like the writing, by the way. I'm not messing around with it. I'm not mocking it. It's really great writing. Rarely do I see this great writing in the horror game. Yeah, there's nothing there. So basically, there are no um, multiple paths to this. This is just one linear experience, which I like, of course, but uh, yeah, if, if this was like maybe an hour game with more detailed puzzles added, this would be like definitely great game. Not great game, but you know what I'm trying to say, it would definitely sell as full game. Although, I don't want to degrade this game by saying this is not a full game, because it is. It's like really great. Even if it was like 10 minutes, I would still be like, this is a great game. Yeah. But I really want the game to explain the story to you. If it doesn't explain the story, then I would have some harsh criticism about it, so. Alright. Between the trees lay a body, claimed by the forest, now part of it. Thorns weaved and twisted through his skin. Here the thorns moved with life of their own, and the man though it wise to use the trees to hide as he passed. What the? Uh. What? Oh shit, 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 shit. Um. So we have to do something with that guy, huh? Wait. What? But there is nothing else I can do, can I? Huh, strange. Yeah, there is nothing else I can do. What do we do with this guy? Come on game, tell me. Oh, I can hide. Okay. Alright, so I was able to hide. That was bad. That was pretty bad, by the way. Because I was so scared. I was like, what the fuck is going on? So, that was bad timing. But hey, we survived. We survived. I was very anxious and actually scared because I thought the game would start over and then I would just quit this fucking game. Pardon for my language. Oh, this one. Yeah, I need you. Oh, 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 careful. Yeah, it's impossible to go through that. Unless I, like, hide. Yeah, I like the trees, by the way, the entire drawing. I'm not sure if the entire game was made by the developer. I guess we will see the credits, but if it is, like, come on, mate. Amazing job. Here are the bath branch both left and right. Well, I guess we um, have a choice, go right or left. I go, I guess, right. Because I'm always right. Yep, no way. Yep. <laughs> I always like to check those. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I understand. I understand what we have to do. <laughs> what we have to do. So we have to go back. Get the thorn, get the bottle, and get to that tree, and sing the song of bottles. Not bottles, but bottles. This is spooky, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what? Really? Get the bottle. 
keep wondering, maybe there's another... No, there isn't another path, Ivan. You stupid, stupid little... Stupido. Alright, watch this. I'm just gonna pass. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care about you, you ugly monster. Also, the thorns are like coming out from his eyes. You, dude. Wash your eyes. Come on. Did I mention to you guys that it's very hot? Where I live, in UK? It's so fucking hot, and recording this videos, it's like pain. Of course I have the air conditioning, but... You know, it's uh... It's still hot. Alright. We go this way. And we get to the next point. So the game said 20 minutes. I'm sure I'm past 20 minutes. I'm not sure. No, I, I probably am past 20 minutes. Because there's a lot of walking involved and I also have to edit the footage. That little ghost doesn't scare me anymore. It doesn't. Crows flapped and fought among the branches ahead. Dren mad with fears. Something awful approached. The man thought it was to seek the safety on the trees once more. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Oh, look at that shit! Uh... Oh shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 just move, 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 move. Move, god damn it. No, no, please. Fuck. I guess that's the final boss. Oh. Oh, nice. Wait, did we pass that? Alright, so we passed that ghost. Oh shit, no I didn't. Come on, hide, dude. Hide. Why? Fucking hide. The body of the daughter lay in the branches of the tree that had lifted her up. As it grew around her in the years after her death, lost and far from her reaching, her searching father. As the crows fed, her abandonment and fear leached through the roots and turned the soil into something dark. Eventually, just her lonely spirit remained, wandering the forest, carried by crows, in search of comfort. Late to rest, perhaps the girl's spirit would find peace, but for that the man would need to find an axe to chop down a tree and a shovel to dig a grave. We're doing something dirty business, okay? But why are we doing this? I'm still... I still wonder, like, if if it was the father, you know, who had to do this, then I would understand, but it was... It was father's body which we found? The crows marked the return path for when the man had what he needed. What? Fallen tree blocked the way. I needed an axe to clear. Press it to clear when you have the axe. Oh, I, I understand that. I understand that. So we're gonna get the axe, chop down the tree, land forgotten and rusting, the axe still had an edge. Well, somebody was uh, definitely uh, sharpening the axe. Sharpening the axe, boy. Chop, motherfucker. The way ahead was blocked. The man would need to investigate the side path to find a way to proceed. Oh, it's... It's blocked because of those, like, fucking branches. Yeah. So I kind of understand the story now a little bit better. But, um, I still don't understand what this man has to do with any. That's the ghost of the daughter, yeah. Oh. So we have to time that. OK. 
Okay. So she goes that way. We go that way. All right. We got the bottle. Oh no, we have to go back. Oh man. Please don't do this. Yeah, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. I don't give a shit. Let's go. Let's go. You won't catch up to me. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Also, we didn't went the other way, so I wonder if there is no- there, Wait, hold on. No, no. There might be a pass. Yeah, I told you. There was a pass. I knew it. We get this. Now we go back. Put that near the monster, and we're off to go. Now, I wonder, what if I was the brother? Yeah, just sit there. Chop. The old shovel stood resolute in the earth where it was last needed. Alright. So we have the shovel, we have the axe. Let's go get the girl, the body, the corpse, whatever. I messed up the portals, did I? Oh yeah, it's this one. With the crows. All right, let's do this. I wonder what happened to the girl and what happened to the father. The game implies there was this black fog, you know, the mysterious magic. But yeah, it's... It's very, um, it's very eerie. Oh no, game music Leon Hurley. Wow, everything is done by Leon Hurley. Oh boy, well, we have to talk about this. What are my thoughts about Carried by Crows? This was phenomenal. I can't praise this game enough. It's been a while since I played something like this, with a long playthrough with a great storyline. And of course, on one of the rarest occasions, I play games like this, I, they don't get too much attention, like they don't get too popular. And even on the page, you can see there are no comments, there are no ratings, which is... Which kind of speaks to us as the players that we prefer the shorter type of games with more like straightforward action, you know, straightforward gameplay, rather than just sit back, walk around the woods, find the story details, solve, you know, smaller puzzles. And yeah, that's, that's of course up to the player. I'm not saying that it's our fault that we don't play games like this, but at the same time, I think the game definitely needs a better marketing. Like on the games page, I saw a couple of screenshots and that's it, no trailer, no, no nothing. And visually, if you watch this through, there were some moments when I was scared, when I held my breath. This was truly breathtaking game. The visuals once again were amazing and this was made by one person by one dude. Like, imagine that. 
everything the animation the font the music like the sound design apart was really and yeah i can't once again praise this game enough this was definitely one of the best experiences i've had this year and i hope to play more games like this i actually do not have too much time to play longer games because once i invest my time i either have to finish them or i have to just cut the recording and just quit the game but i am i'm happy that i gave this game a chance and i played you know entire game actually you know and uh, yeah i was very surprised by this great job the developer if you're watching this you did an astonishing job great job so if anyone is interested in this game definitely check it out link is in the description support the developer all right send some love send some positive comments saying you know great job whoa the music is so fire and things like that definitely support the developer and uh, for the rest of you thanks everyone else for watching i wish you an amazing day goodbye